but in this video we're going to show you why you shouldn't leave Glencoe off your Scotland itinerary. 20 miles, 27 minutes. Get ready for your senses to be smacked in the face. Rugged beauty, mountains and waterfalls. Is this the best drive? Scrap that. Is this the best place in the UK? Watch this video to find out more. Do you think you've had a little bit too much coffee, babe? <laughs> Let's go. Hey, we're Tristan Kez and we live and work in our 34 year old camper van, Old Gertie. With Frank and Murphy, follow us as we travel the UK from countrysides to coastlines and everything in between, showing you the sights and delights the UK has to offer. This week we're in Glencoe and we're going to show you what you need to see and do here before you die. Glencoe is by far, in our opinion, one of the most beautiful places to visit in Scotland, isn't it? Our absolute favourite. It is breathtaking. We're going to show you 10 things that you need to see and do on your travels through Glencoe. First stop is you'll be coming along the A82 and as you wind up to join into the Glencoe Valley, you'll come across Loch Tula Viewpoint. We can't stress enough why you should stop here. Take a few minutes, an hour, a snack, a lunch and take in the view. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Number two is go and check out one of the pull-ins or little park-ups along the A82. What we're going to show you here is one of the first ones we pulled into and you get this beautiful view of a little lock there, all the mountains surrounding, but you don't have to pull into this one. There's lots of little lay-bys and little pull-ins as you're driving along the road, you're going to see lots of people out taking pictures and viewing all the sides. I can't stress enough, you should pull over, take a sec and just take in the views. They are stunning. Hop back in your car and then we're on to... Point number three, the Glencoe Mountain Centre. Depending on what time you go here will depend on what you get to see and do here. It's open all year round and it is a mountain and ski centre during the winter, but it also puts on mountain biking facilities, summer tubing and much more in the summer. It's a great place if you've got a camper van to go and pull up, take a few minutes, park for the day, overnight, take a shower. The place has got it all for you. But if that's not enough, point number four, King's House Hotel. You might have seen on Instagram some of the beautiful shots of all the wildlife like deer stood in front of the Black Mountain and this is where they're taken. So pop on by, pull up, see if you can spot any wildlife, take a couple of pictures and then carry on with your drive. As you pull back out of the King's House Hotel turning, drive a little further down the road, you'll find the road to Glen Etive. It's a 13 mile road and it's famed for being in the film Skyfall. So if you're a James Bond fan, get yourself down there. Right at the end, you have Loch Etive, which is well worth the 13 mile drive. All the way down, you've got waterfalls, views, mountains, everything. It is epic. And if you want to know more about Glen Etive and Loch Etive, check out this video here. Point number six, waterfalls. Now that you've got a couple of famous waterfalls along here, but if you keep your eyes peeled, there's literally tiny little medium and large waterfalls all the way along the A82. You can pull up and park and view some of the more epic waterfalls that you, again you'll have seen on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube, or you can just keep driving and have a look at them as you're driving by. Remember, the more rain there's been, the more the waterfall's gonna be kicking off. But round the corner from the main waterfalls that we've been talking about, and there are others, you'll come to the Three Sisters car park and viewpoint. And from here, not only is it a beautiful view, so again, you don't even have to get out your car or van to view it, but there are a huge amount of walks. The area is absolutely epic. And depending on what time of year you go there, it could be quite ram because it is so popular with tourists. But definitely worth pulling up, having a view, take a break or pack up a bag and go for a walk. You won't regret it, trust me. And then a little further down the road is Signal Rock and Antor. A nice little car park with little bays in there as you pull in. But immediately from the car park, you get to walk over the River Coat and this beautiful waterfall. And once you walk across the bridge, you get a choice of colour graded walks that you can go and walk on. I think there's blue, yellow and black. We did all three, it's well worth it. So yeah, lots of coloured walks. We went on a little walk, got a little lost, <laughs> didn't we? Came off the footpath, shouldn't have done that. 
went a bit mental, quite muddy. But you can also, once you come off the uh, bridge, you can walk right down to the river. We've seen some people camping down there. It's beautiful down there. It is absolutely stunning. And you are just surrounded by the mountains around you. It really does make you feel like you're in another country, New Zealand, somewhere like that. It's incredible. But from Signal Rock and Ant Tour, you can do all the walks we said. You can also take a further walk out and you can get yourself down to this beautiful little pond lake. I'm not sure, but it is stunning. We got there and there was very little wind, so we get one of the favorite things I like to do, which is take reflective photography, and I was blown away. But in that area, you've also got a pub you can stop at for refreshment, and if you need somewhere to camp up for the night, you can go and stay at the Red Squirrel campsite, which we stayed at before, and it was very enjoyable. It's right next to the river, loads of wildlife, beautiful. And then, if you're done with that and you still need more to do, why not hop over to the Glencoe Visitor Centre? It's free to enter and four pounds for parking, and you get to learn about the history of Glencoe, the Highlands, and the surrounding areas. It really is worth taking it in. If you're gonna travel through Glencoe, it's a must see on your journey. And then finishing up, we've got Glencoe Village, where you can get all your snacks, supplies, and amenities, but also it's a beautiful little village, as we say, to either start or stop your journey along Glencoe and the A82. It really is breathtaking. You'll be able to sit there and take in Loch Leven, which is absolutely stunning. To summarise, this is most definitely the favourite place that we have driven in Scotland. We'd love to know what your favourite place is to drive in Scotland or be in Scotland. We're blown away by it. You can drive, you can camp, you can take showers, you can go for walks, views, waterfalls and much more. It is truly incredible. So why not get this on your itinerary when you go and visit Scotland? Because it is a must see once in your lifetime. Just to finish off, if you're a camper vanner, motor homer, car camper, camper, whatever. If you like being outdoors, on this road, you can get showers, both at the Glencoe Mountain Centre and the King's House Hotel. There are toilets at both stops and you can collect fresh water at both stops. At the Glencoe Mountain Centre, you can also get rid of your chemical waste for a charge and stay overnight for another charge. There's also a few spots that you can have a cheeky wild camp, either in a tent, motorhome or camper van. So it really is the best place we think in Scotland. We'd love to know your opinion and also comment below because we challenge you to find somewhere better in Scotland than this and we'll go there. So that's it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed coming and traveling around the Glencoe area and the A82 with myself, Trist and this one, Kez. What's your final thought on Glencoe, Kez? It's definitely my favorite road in Scotland. The first time we drove that road, I was absolutely blown away and we have driven it five more times since then, yeah. 10 more times, and every single time it just blows you away like the first yeah. time you've ever seen it. So yeah, I love it. And um, just to add one last thing, it doesn't really matter what way you drive it, because when you drive it the opposite way back, you get to see everything you didn't see the first time. So it's well worth trying it both ways. But until next time, folks, don't forget to leave us a comment below if you agree or disagree on whether this is the best place in Scotland hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss when our next video is coming out. And until next time, folks, bye for now.